7 a.m. on a Sunday morning in North Sri Lanka. Welcome to Jaffna. And today we're starting the morning off just right. Sunday morning at Jaffna Fish Market. Now because Niluksan and Malta are Singhala and we don't speak any Tamil, um, we got a friend of theirs here that speaks Tamil that is going to help us buy the perfect fish and uh, maybe get a good price for that fish as well. So this is his friend, obviously Niluksan and Malcha. And uh, we're currently having kind of a look around to see what type of fish they have to offer and what we're going to eat tonight, right? The atmosphere here is absolutely wild. It's so early in the morning on a Sunday. This market is lively. That's all I can say. And we're right next to the water. And they literally have boats pulling up alongside the market, pulling fresh fish off the boats, bringing them right up here to these tables. And then you just have salesmen screaming out what it is that they're selling. It's absolutely one of a kind. 100% I couldn't agree more and it kind of seems like um, selling here works on an auction type of basis. So uh, the seller screams one price and uh, just repeats that price. Somebody gives in a bid or an offer for whatever he's selling and then people are kind of fighting uh, depending on how much money they want to pay and then one at the end gets the, gets the fish basically. Um, in a literal sense they're getting the fish but it's very very interesting to see and I'm not 100% on what type of fish or seafood we are looking for at the moment but Nilukshan for sure knows. So Nilukshan what type of fish are we looking for this morning? Today we are going to have crabs, prawns, cuttlefish then we will look for uh, tuna because he said uh, we can't buy tuna here so we will look tuna in the I mean the most north part of the country around Kiramale. Yeah, because we are going to prepare some special dishes tonight. Oh, I cannot wait. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be amazing, no? The hustle and bustle that's going on here at this fish market is just, as I said, one of a kind. You are right next to the water with fresh fish literally pulling up here and being served to the people that are then bidding, bidding and auctioning on the actual, sometimes still alive fish. And that is just a very crazy experience to see. It's something that you do not see very much in Europe or a lot of different places in the world. Sri Lanka is truly one of a kind. There's actually a crab crawling across the table. You can see it just over there, but it's crazy. By the way, someone brought crab in and he emptied the basket in order to sell it and all of the crabs were like, freedom, and walked away. <laughs> What a unique and crazy experience, guys. If you are going to come to Jaffna, make sure, do yourself a favor. Get up early one of those mornings. Get yourself down here to the fish market. What a way to start the day. That fish market is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> There's so much going on, wow. We are not ready. Yeah. We didn't have it. We didn't have enough coffee yet. Yeah. <laughs> coffee. Coffee. So guys, we made our way back to our current accommodation here in Jaffna. So we definitely want to give you guys a little bit of a room tour or a villa tour. We're actually staying in a very very nice two bedroom villa here in Jaffna. It's absolutely gorgeous so we definitely gonna show you guys around just quickly and um, we'll let you know just exactly what it's called and stuff like that but it's absolutely beautiful and there's a nice big uh, parking space if you guys are driving around Sri Lanka as well let's go and check out this cool villa so you guys I'm just going to give you a quick look into the villa that we rented here for the few days that we are in town. Check out this beautiful area. You have a beautiful sitting area. Um, then upstairs are two big rooms for people to sleep in. And we have a huge kitchen here as well. 
Um, it's absolutely stunning. We couldn't believe our eyes actually when we arrived. And in case you want to book this place as well, make sure to check out the link in our description. Um, this place is called Chetty Villa and it's located in Jaffna. This whole street area here seems to be one massive market area. We're gonna go and explore. We're very excited to be in this part of Jaffna right now. I believe it actually is like Jaffna city center itself. Um, it's absolutely crazy. There's so much happening. There's so much hustle and bustle. So many different things for sale. Lots of vegetables, onions, ginger chilies wow the love, streets are very chaotic as well yeah i love the atmosphere here because it's so lively there are so many people out and about uh, trying to do their shopping obviously so many people in the streets it's uh, very very beautiful to see and you get a, like a real energetic kick out of the market atmosphere here it's really really nice wow they have loads of snacks for sale woohoo guys welcome to Jaffna market I'm just gonna keep rolling and try and show you guys as much as possible try and give you an uh, authentic experience of this market some fruits and vegetable section here as well yeah very nice what are uh what are these? What are they? In our language we call it dambale. Dambale? Yeah, it's very nutritious. And this is called capsium. Capsium. And this is for curries? Yeah. Okay, yeah, what does like it taste like? Some sort of salads. Yeah. Ah, salads, yeah. nice. You can mix it with coconut. Uh, then yes. you can just add some one of oil. Lime. And also we can uh, make a small dish like a salad. Oh. And also we can cook that also with it's coconut beautiful. milk. It looks very, very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen this before. There are two types of this one. One is the green and the other one is the red one. Red one? Huh. Very cool. Very Nandri. interesting. Nandri. There are so many uh, fruits and vegetables around here that I haven't necessarily seen before, never cooked or tasted before. So it's always interesting to go to the local markets because you get the first-hand experience out of what people actually eat here in the area. Yeah, true. The atmosphere here is really one of a kind. We've been to markets in Colombo, for example, and it's very, very different. This is a lot more vibrant hustle and bustle. Even though Colombo is, um, it has a larger population than Jaffna, this seems a lot more hectic. There's so much going on and there's so much for sale here. That vegetable there was called winged beans. Winged beans. Apparently, it's full of protein. Oh. Oh, jackfruit. All of the bees are eating the jackfruit. <laughs> wow. Incredible. This one is good. You can see the black lines over there, it means it's not good to spy. Big jackfruit. Yeah. So apparently if you want to know if the jackfruit is ripe, you just have to press it and if it gives in a little bit, you can eat it. Is this one giving in? This one is giving in on this side, it's ripe on this side, but this side is too ripe. Oh. So it's a half, a, ja half right. a jackfruit is good to eat, the other half not so much. <laughs> So many different things going on here. We have apples, I'm guessing. Yeah, it looks like an apple. Um, I'm an absolute amateur when it comes to fruits and vegetables. Um, these look like avocados. <laughs> <laughs> they are uh, oranges, green oranges. oranges. Oh. So they come in the, if you have a smaller lemon size orange. one, it's a... Hmm? Lemon orange. Lemon orange. Lemon orange. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Interesting. <laughs> I thought they were just green oranges. Hmm. How do they smell? Like a lemon orange. 
<laughs> smells like garden. <laughs> yeah, smells like a garden. Smells like a garden. Yeah. Yep. Pretty lemony, kind of orangey as well. Oh, nice. Landry, thank you. Mm. Wow, very fresh. Mm. Mm. It's a good mango. It's very good. Very tasty. I like it. Very, very tasty. Wow. Oh my god. I could eat like 12 of these. Mm. Very sweet, no? So good. I'm wondering what the small mangoes taste like. These are yeah. the small mangoes. Um, I've never tasted them before. I don't know. Is, are they sweeter or the small mangoes is sweeter than the large one? Huh. Never had one. <laughs> Milok Chan is still guiding us around the market. Ireland. 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 Ireland and Germany. Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're from Sri Lanka. From Jaffna. Nice. nice. Jaffna is amazing. Place. Very, very nice. Great city. Huh? What's your name? Luke. Luke is my name. Naomi. Naomi. You? Sam. Sam? Sam. Adagudi. <laughs> what is your name? Adagudi. Adagudi. Ah, nice. nice meeting you. <laughs> nice Sam to meet you. Nandri for the manga. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> wow. Is this a green chili? Dried? Yeah, uh, it's the red chili. It's red red. chili. Yeah, they, they do uh, something with salt and lime to preserve. So it's, ah. I mean, mm. we, we have to fry that to eat, so it's really delicious. Spicy. Yeah, I was wondering. Is it Papa Dam? Yes. Ooh. I was wondering where the color went. <laughs> I thought Papa maybe Dums. green, but it's a red chili. Spicy, crunchy Papa Dams. Well, in this case, a spicy, crunchy chili. Mm. <laughs> With a papadom texture. <laughs> yes. Honey. Oh, they add honey. Big, hairy coconut. Very spicy or okay? No, it's just really incredible. I think I'm gonna get these. These They're look with really honey. good. Honey. Honey so they chili. Are, uh, salty, spicy, lemon, mm -hmm. and honey. Ooh. For 180 rupees, you cannot ask for more, no? That sounds like a bargain, guys. I think we're gonna try these out. Yep. I decided to go with the honey chilies just because I'm very, very interested in what they are going to taste like. Uh, obviously, we're going to try on camera, so you guys are going to be part of the degustation. Happy. Very happy. <laughs> Do I have a sunburn? I look red. A little bit of a sunburn, yeah. Huh. Jaffna is hot. Very sunny place. Yeah. It's the flower, the palmyra. Oh, palmyra yeah. flower. So, do you remember the ordeal cool, the special dish in Jaffna? Jaffna so cool, they, yeah. Yeah, they use this one to take the sauce. Oh. And also it's very heavy. We really have to try Jaffna Kool. Jaffna Kool is uh, apparently a very spicy, spicy crab soup. Yeah. yeah. Mixed with seafood. Mixed with a lot of seafood. Crabs, uh, prawns, fish, uh, then some sort of beans. Yeah. Uh, then jackfruit seeds. This palmyra powder is a mixture. Wow. Sometimes we will, uh, we will be able to taste this. Because very spicy. We are going to uh, go a special place oh, today, yeah. tonight. True. <laughs> Secret, it's a secret. Okay. I was wondering what these what these are. Ah. <laughs> but they're just a uh, popcorn ball. Corn potty ball. Potty ball. Corn potty ball. <laughs> but from uh, just reading the ingredients, it seems like it's a uh, sugared popcorn that is formed into a ball with color. Oh, so it's nice. it's not like a strawberry. F I thought it was a strawberry flavor or something. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Look at all these snack, snack options, guys. You've got cookies as well. Sesame balls. Sesame balls. Sesame balls sound very interesting, huh? Yeah. What do you know? What do you know? What Tasty you know? snacks. This market is pretty large, guys. Um, obviously, these ones here are closed off, but this is kind of where we entered. We entered kind of just over here. We walked just here, 
and made kind of like an L shape over to where we are now, but there's plenty more to check out. Naomi's trying to open her dried honey uh, chili. Chilies. But everything, I don't know how they do it, but in Sri Lanka it's very difficult to get into your packages. I don't know <laughs> why it's quality, or how. It's quality assured here. You want to try as well? We have to fry this. Oh, we have to fry it. You have to fry them. I thought you can eat like this. No, we have to fry them. You can eat them like that. Oh. <laughs> Now me sad. We have to fry them. So we will do that. Uh, we will fry them later. Oh, we didn't know that we had to fry them yet. It's all right. Chewing gum. Chewing gum. Chewing gum. It's not them. Should we try? Yes, try a chewing gum. Chewing gum. <laughs> Why not? 250. 250. Why not? Just buy random stuff, that's what we do. <laughs> Nandri. Ah, uh, Nandri. Nandri. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nice. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. Very nice. nice. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Thank you, okay. Nandri. Bye bye. Luke is going to give the newly acquired chewing gum a try. They're all individually wrapped. I think Niluk and Malcha are currently leaving, but we're going to stop. I have no idea how to even get this out of the package. It seems to be totally kind of absorbed in the plastic, but I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> oh. It literally it? sticks to your teeth. Very, very, very sweet. It's like a really sweet, sugary, sticky chewing gum. Is it nice though. It has a really nice flavor, but very strange. Something that I never tasted before, that's for sure. You want to try? I don't know. I, I think I'm going to need a long time to get into the chewing gum. <laughs> Two of them are waiting. Oh, there's a doggy. <laughs> Wait. You got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm scared that I'm going to eat part of the plastic. I tried to throw, chew a little bit off, but you cannot bite it. It's huge. It immediately sticks to your teeth. Oh my god, it sticks to my teeth. It's very nice though. <laughs> very weird. Different. Now we have this right here, guys, is used to make string hoppers. Very cool. This one we can remove the cover. It's like that's why we are calling you know you can. Mm. Nice. And this one is for shredding coconuts. Yes. Huh? So this is the way we have to do. Put rice. Coconut shredder. Like that. <laughs> oh. But now it is very famous for dancing. So there are some dancing steps on you know you can. People dance with this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you heard it there. So Nilukshan just said it was initially used to remove the cover of the rice grain. Yeah. So you do kind of this movement and then. The rice gets the first cover removed, basically. Nice. Now they dance with it. Yeah. To <laughs> Nandri. So what it is, is they have the vita nut over there, basically, um, that they cut down into small pieces with this tool, what he's just demonstrating there. Oh, be careful, don't cut yourself. <laughs> okay, so he's slicing it down, and then they make these individual small slices out of it basically and what they do wow Nandri thank you so much what they do is they mix this one with a beetle leaf uh, I believe uh, some tobacco goes in there and then they chew it and sodium chloride and they chew it I don't know if in some of our videos if you have seen some locals with like a red tinted mouth so the teeth and the lips and everything kind of turns red and they chew it and it's basically created to keep you awake. Hello. It's uh, created to keep you awake. So it's basically 
maybe a form of uh, caffeine, like uh, what I could compare it to, maybe a form of caffeine or nicotine or all of these uh, things, just that you chew it. And uh, if you chew it for too long, so for if you are using it for too many years, it can actually cause mouth cancer. Uh, that's why I'm why I'm comparing it maybe to cigarettes because obviously cigarettes uh, are cancerous as well. So um, yeah, well it keeps you awake. So we just went to a different part of the market. I would like to tell you where we are, but as you see, I cannot tell you. <laughs> um, and they have loads and loads of textiles, basically. Wow! Check out the colors. Can I come in? Yeah, yes, come in. Okay. Uh, should I put the shoes off? Yes, sir. Get okay. Shoes. Which shoes is okay? Wow, look at all the colors. How beautiful is this one in blue? My favorite color. Wow. This is very nice. No? Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, I love all of the materials. They're so beautiful in all different colors. Wow. Very beautiful shops. I can hear Malsha say, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Very beautiful. It's really funny, guys. This whole street, literally this whole street here is pretty much all clothing stores. So you have clothing stores all the way down on both sides. So on both sides, clothes. And then when you take a left turn, you head in here to the actual uh, food market where we just were not that long ago so very interesting fascinating place to see as well so oh i look crazy what a crazy day guys <laughs> so that was a little bit of a quick look inside of mm -hmm. the jaffna market here in the beautiful Jaffna province. <laughs> we just wanted to take you along on the journey because obviously uh, if you visit those markets those are usually the best insights as to what locals are doing, what they're interested in, what they eat, how they behave and so on. So uh, we just thought it would be a little bit of a feel-good video. For sure, yeah. It was great to see kind of the hustle and bustle of the city and just how kind of crazy it is. Um, it's out of this world and it's very, very different to a lot of the rest of Sri Lanka that we mm -hmm. have seen, which makes it a very special place. So definitely come and check Jaffna out as soon as you can. I couldn't agree more. It was so, so beautiful to try the local candy as well. Um, I will. We have a full bag now, so we will probably be having that candy for the next week or two. Yep, for sure. <laughs> but for now, guys, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the Two Mad Explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. See you guys in the next Sri Lankan adventure. Nandri for watching. Nandri, bye-bye. Uh.